So in this video I'm going to talk about anti-static stuff. Now I'm not an expert in anti-static and the principles are pretty simple. Static will destroy ICs and some transistors and MOSFETs and things like that. It's really bad news for electronics. Welcome to the Electronics Basics series. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon to get notifications. I'm doing a video every day so make sure you come back again tomorrow. You may spend 90% of your time, 99% of your time even, being lucky and never having to deal with an issue where an IC is dead when you go to put it in a circuit or you go to use it or you have a piece of equipment you pull it apart put it back together again it doesn't work anymore you know that can happen there's things you can do which makes your chances of having to deal with a failure from static discharge much less likely you don't have to worry about it so much the most common thing for doing electronics is to get yourself an anti-static mat this is what I've got here this is a mat which is on my desk so it's got a wooden desk this mat is covering the entire desk surface now what these mats have which are just out of shot. So if you look just over here, there's an attachment. This is a stud, which is attached to the mat. Here's a ground lead, which is attached to it, which runs over here. And this is plugged into the ground point on my power supply. So I've got three ground connections on the power supply here. So that's plugged into there. So this is being grounded through the power supply. Okay, so this is earthed. First thing, service is earthed. There's lots more to this. Any stack wrist straps. Handy things to have. I also use them from time to time myself. I'm doing something which is particularly susceptible to the static or don't want to risk blowing something up I'll chuck this on as well and I can plug this into another ground point on my power supply okay and you know then I can obviously you put this on your wrist and that earths you out right so it increases your chances even more that you won't blow something up this in itself may be good enough the why I say may be good enough is because even though you've got an anti-static mat you can still be picking up static electricity just by sitting here moving around. If you have clothing which isn't pure cotton, you know, if you've got like a polyester blend shirt or nylon blend shirt or something like that, moving your arms around is rubbing your shirt sleeves to your body and that will generate a static charge. You know, if you don't wear everything cotton, like if you don't have purely cotton socks, cotton jeans or trousers, cotton shirt, cotton undies, if everything is purely cotton, your chances are pretty good that you'll be alright. If you've got any kind of synthetic material in there, you could be adding to the static charge. Rubbing your feet on a carpet, like here I've got a carpeted floor, rubbing your feet across that, if it's got synthetic materials in the carpet, also will build up a static charge. It may even do it with normal materials, you know. Just because you have materials either on your clothing or on your floor which aren't synthetic, doesn't mean you won't build up a static charge, so you shouldn't assume that. The other thing to do is techniques. Now when you see me working on things, you'll see that, well usually see, you may see, I'm resting my arms on this desk. This happens a lot. When I'm picking up parts, you see me on doing this, a volume handover. If I'm picking up, say, pretend this remote control is an IC. Right? If I was picking this up, I wouldn't just like do this. That is asking for trouble. The way I pick it up is to rest my arm down and then pick it up like this. Right? That way, this will discharge any static charge that may be. And if possible, resting my hand down and doing that. You see me do that quite a bit in videos. But at the very least, I've got an arm or my other hand resting on the desk to help discharge any static buildup. Static electricity seems like a simple subject, but when you think about all the little things you have to do, when you've got an IC which is in a ball like this, it's relatively safe because the board is kind of providing some protection for the IC. But again, with boards, or anything you pick up, touch the surface first. Touch the surface, pick it up. That way, you're at the same potential as the surface the board is already on. There's less likely to be a discharge between you and the surface. Okay, because that's the thing. This is earthed. If I had a static build-up and I come along and then touched something on this desk without being earthed myself, or without touching the desk surface myself, I've still got a static charge. That's got to go somewhere. And when I touch this desk, it's going to dissipate. Maybe it goes through the desk by me touching it, or it goes through the component I touch when I pick up the ball. Think about that. So if I were to pick up the ball by this corner, which has got this IC on it, and I hadn't touched the desk first, I could touch this IC like that. I'll try and do it like this. Touch it, pick it up like that. And there you go, it could have zapped the chip. It's a pretty simple thing, and I don't think I've ever blown anything up. I may have done. There's been times I've had bits of gear and I thought, well, was that working before? I'm not sure. You know, it can happen to anyone. But if you have things like anti-static mat, it's cheap to get. It doesn't cost much. It's good insurance. Get one. Earth it out. It has to be earthed. It's not wireless. <laughs> this strap, have it on hand so when you do want to do something and you don't want to risk anything, put it on and always touch the surface. If you don't have any static protection whatsoever at all, sometimes it's circumstances mean you're out in the field or you're somewhere else and you're working on something and you don't have an anti-static process like this, you can't do anything, the principles still apply. Touch the surface first, then pick it up. 
if you always touch the surface first, you're at least giving it a chance to dissipate any static buildup that's in you before you touch the device or the board or whatever it may be. All right, I think I've waffled on about enough. Click like if you found it interesting. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Check out the playlist here for the beginner series. Playlist over here, YouTube things you should watch. There's a subscribe link right there, which you should click if you haven't done it already. And there's a Patreon support link over there if you want to help support the channel. But the monthly donation. If you want to do a one-off donation, click the thanks link down below. Bye.